Hey everyone, weather forecaster Liam here with a quick video of TRA weather. Here's your top weather news and headlines. Severe weather threatens the southern plains and northeastern United States today, overnight tonight, and into tomorrow. Going to get into how bad the weather will be with future radar, TRA weather predictions, Torcons, and more. And I'll also have the forecast on a very likely tropical storm named Arthur and on what impacts it could have on the United States. All this is coming up right here on TRA weather. Alright, today is May 15th, 2020. Let's get right into the future radar forecast. This is from the NAM model, and we're going to be first focused on the northeastern portion of the United States, and then we'll work our way on over to the south central portion of the United States, where they're also going to be experiencing some severe weather tonight and into tomorrow morning. So this is for 5 p.m. Eastern Time today. You're already seeing a line of severe thunderstorms develop all the way from northern Vermont all the way down into portions of Ohio. And there actually may be a few cells that develop ahead of the front. They could become super cells and a few tornadoes are possible though thankfully the tornado threat will remain low for both the northeastern united states and the south central united states so this isn't really going to be a tornado threat the main threat will be large hail and gusty winds especially gusty winds going to have a lot of those tonight and overnight tonight so let's go forward to 8 p.m eastern time tonight the line of showers continues to make its way south and eastward now more so into the states of Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, New York State, Pennsylvania, and still lingering on a little in the state of Ohio. Forward again to 11 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. It's still in the state of Maine, though thankfully it looks like it's out of the states of both New Hampshire and Vermont, and also Pennsylvania, though some showers could linger across Pennsylvania, and also maybe a few thunderstorms develop across West Virginia and northern Kentucky. Forward again to 3 a.m. Eastern Time tonight. Hopefully by this time, all the severe weather has dissipated and worked its way on out and just dealing with some lighter rain showers across the northeastern portion of the United States. So now let's head on over to the south central portion of the United States. Let's go back to 5 p.m. Eastern time this evening. Already seeing some thunderstorms develop across Louisiana, Texas, and Oklahoma. And that just increases on throughout the night. This is for 8 p.m. Eastern time. There's a lot of available energy here, but again, thankfully low wind shear. So we're not really going to be seeing much of a tornado threat, but tornadoes can still happen both across the south central and northeastern portion of the united states tonight they're just not going to be very numerous they're going to be rather scattered and you're starting to see some thunderstorms develop across southern oklahoma in portions of western and central texas as those thunderstorms develop they'll form a squall line and make their way eastward form a very intense squall line too large hail and very strong straight line winds are expected with that squall line this is for 11 p.m eastern time and into the very early morning hours of saturday Saturday, that line continues to make its way eastward and also south eastward into portions of eastern and southern Texas and there's a little more energy in the southern portion of Texas so definitely going to have to watch for some more enhanced severe weather. Now forward again to 5 a.m. eastern time Saturday morning that line you can see it's starting to even intensify more as it gets closer to the coast. But hopefully by 9 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow morning, that line has worked its way and out. It's now off the coast and over the Gulf of Mexico, just bringing a lingering thunderstorm or two to the Texas, Louisiana area. So let's go on over to our TRA weather prediction. This is for Friday tonight and overnight tonight. I think there's a lot going on on this map. So let's start on the central portion of the United States where there's actually another threat for severe thunderstorms there though thankfully it's much lower than the threat is across Texas, Oklahoma, and the northeastern United States. So there's a high risk across southern South Dakota, western Nebraska, Kansas, and very eastern Colorado. Though again, there's not a lot of wind shear there and also limited energy, so the severe weather will not be that bad there. Though some gusty winds and hail can be expected in those locations. Now further to the south, now in the Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana area, where we actually have a very high risk for seeing severe thunderstorms, 
Dallas, you're under that very high risk, but Houston, you're just outside of that very high risk in the now just high risk area, though other areas under that very high risk include much of central Texas and portions of southern Oklahoma. Now let's go on over to the northeastern portion of the United States where they're also under a very high risk for seeing severe thunderstorms. Boston, you're under that very high risk. In Pittsburgh, in New York City, you're under that high risk for seeing severe thunderstorms shaded in red. Outside of the very high and high risk are the medium risk shaded in yellow and the low risk shaded in green. So now let's head on over to our TRA Weather Torcons again for tonight and overnight tonight. See, Torcons aren't very high, really only have three through four Torcons across this map, across southern Oklahoma, much of the central portion of Texas, and also portions of the northeastern United States. Outside of that, in the very light green shaded color, are just Torcons of one through two. Dallas, you're under Torcon of three through four. In Boston, in Houston, you're also under Torcons of three through four. Okay, now let's shift gears on over to the tropics. Here's the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center. And you see right south of the coast of Florida, we actually have an area of interest. That is possible Tropical Storm Arthur. Yes, it may be mid-May, but we're already talking about tropical weather. Very early for that. Hurricane season doesn't start until June 1st. We really should be talking about tropical storms in late June, but instead we're talking about them in mid-May. So this is expected to make its way northeastward, and there's an 80% chance actually that this develops into some sort of storm, whether it be a subtropical Tropical storm, tropical storm, or maybe even a hurricane. There are some models that are actually suggesting that this becomes a Category 1 hurricane. Definitely going to have to watch that over the next day or so because there's really not much wind shear to tear apart this storm and also very warm ocean temps. So very good conditions for tropical development. So let's go back to the future radar. This is now from the GFS model for the southeastern portion of the United States for 2 p.m. Sunday. See that low pressure system just off the coast of the Carolinas, Georgia, and Florida? That's possible tropical storm Arthur. See it's only at 1,008 millibars and just bringing some light to moderate rain around that low pressure system so not really impressive as of right now but as we go forward severe thunderstorms start developing close to that low pressure system it gets a little stronger in fact it gets very close to north carolina let's actually go over to the tri weather wind speed this is for 8 a.m monday morning see those reds and even some yellow showing up to the southern and eastern portions of that center of low pressure that's around 50 to 55 knots that's almost 55 to 60 miles per hour. That's very close to hurricane force winds. So definitely going to have to watch this this weekend and over the next few days. Now let's go back to the future radar. This is for 2 p.m. Eastern Time Monday. You see that low pressure system at 997 millibars now, bringing some wet weather to the Carolinas. So forward again to 2 a.m. Eastern Time Tuesday. You see that does not make landfall in North Carolina, but definitely does get close, and the trend actually has been getting that storm closer to North Carolina. So definitely stay tuned to TRA Weather for all the latest weather news and information on that possible tropical storm or maybe even more than that. So make sure to like and share this video. Subscribe to TRA Weather if you haven't already. And also check out the links listed below to both my Twitter and Instagram pages and an invite link to my Weather Discord channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.